Recently a viewer asked me how to create an automation using the Atom Presence Sensor and taking advantage of both the millimeter wave and the PR sensor to give us a turning on of a light when someone enters a room, keeping the light on while they're in the room and then turning it off when they leave it for the room, taking advantage of both of those two sensors. So here we go. So the way that I create this automation is I go along to my settings, automations, and we've got two automations. One is to turn the light on and the one is to turn it off. So to turn it on from our present sensor, we want to select two options for triggers. So by default, Home Assistant takes, if you select multiple options in your triggers here, it uses an OR operator. So it will trigger based off either one of these two sensors going into the sensing or the positive mode. So what I've done is I've selected my present sensor, Atom present sensor, and I've said the one trigger is going to be the PIR sensor with no duration. So the moment it triggers, it is giving us a trigger. The other option is the millimeter wave sensor so what it's going to do now present sensor millimeter wave sensor started detecting so what it's going to do now is at the moment i walk into the room whichever of the two sensors detects me first they will trigger to turn on my light so here we have a light this is just a normal wi-fi smart bulb and we're going to say turn on the light and we could adjust brightness or whatever we wanted to do but I'm just turning the light on the second part of this automation is that I want to turn the light off so the reason I'm using the millimeter wave sensor here is that is normally the one that is going to keep uh, in the positive uh, selection for the longest so this will once I've been sitting in a room for a while sitting still this is the one that's likely to, to go back to the off mode last so all i do is i select the present sensor again and the millimeter wave stopped sensing motion i then want to turn the light off so the last thing i want to do now is i want to go along to my device uh, so we go down here and we select our esp home and the present sensor the last thing i want to do now is we want to set the fading time so the fading time is how long it will hold on until it switches off after it's stopped detecting. So I've selected that as 60 seconds. So one full minute before actually turning off. So that's all you need to do. Simple as that. Please feel free if you've got any more questions about this, ask me. I'm having a lot of fun playing around with these millimeter wave sensors. Anyway, that's all for me now. Have a great week. Bye then. <music>